guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Thanks for tuning in. Today for this episode, we're going to be talking about simple ways to organize your gear. And especially, we're going to be focused on a product known as Vault's Mesh Storage Bags. You guys have seen these in just about every one of my backpacking, overnight adventures, and hiking videos. And that's because I use them to basically organize my gear, keep it in one central place so I know how to get to it as fast as possible. Now you guys have wrote in, asked me to do a video about these, and guys, I'm happy to do so. Let's go ahead and flip over to the table and I'll show you guys more about these bags. All right guys, so in front of you, you have all four bags. And as you can see, they're all four differently sized. You have the black bag, which is the biggest, and it is nine inches by nine and a quarter. The red bag is five and a half inches by nine inches. The orange bag is five inches by eight inches. And the yellow bag is five inches by seven inches. Now, personally, I love that they're all different sized. I wouldn't want them all to be as large as this one just because it'd be wasted space. But as they go down, they stair step. I mean, it really works well with the way that I carry my gear. It may work well for the way that you carry yours. Now. As you can see here, on each of these bags, you have a diagonal zipper. Now, you know, at first that seems pretty awkward, but I'll be honest with you. Guys, it really does work well. It makes getting into these bags and finding what you want super, super simple. A whole lot simpler than having a straight zipper on one side or the other. Okay, guys. So, right now, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and dump out everything that I have in each of these mesh bags. That way you can see just how much they can carry and just how beneficial and useful they are. So we'll go ahead here and start with the food bag. And this is typically how I will carry it myself and the type of items that I would have in it. I would have a pack of oatmeal for breakfast, instant. I'd have a snack, some crackers, some bars, something like that. You guys should know by now that I never go anywhere without a can of these, some barbecue baked beans. I usually have a bigger meal, and a mountain house generally. This is a beef stroganoff, and this is two and a half servings, so that is very good size to fit inside of one of these bags. Here's another little snack bar thing. I always have some instant coffee with me for some go juice, just in case. And lastly, I always carry my titanium spoon spork with a washcloth. I just cut this in half. That's usually about as, as much as I need to clean myself off with, clean my gear, and so on. And I always wrap up the forked end. That way I don't tear anything up inside of my pack. So take a look at that, guys. You can see here, from just one bag, you have a ton of items. You got the spoon spork with washcloth, oatmeal, breakfast, you have a main dinner, you have a can of baked beans, coffee, bars, crackers, so on and so forth. That's a lot of food inside of one bag, and it's also kept in a very neat, organized place. Moving on to the pink bag. Of course, it's fully loaded. I have a headlamp here with extra batteries. I also have extra batteries for my GPS unit. Inside of it, I have two photon lights. One is super bright white, one's fairly bright red. We have some toilet paper, don't, go, don't leave home without it. We have a first aid kit, this is custom, I've got extra items in this, things that I need for when I go out. And I have a toothbrush toothpaste sort of thing. So right there guys, that's everything that I keep in my miscellaneous bag. And it's all in one central location. Moving on to the orange bag. And this one, very, very simple. Just some extra batteries for the camera, some extra memory cards for the camera. Fair enough, easy enough. Now we're gonna focus on the last little bag. And for me, that is the perfect size for my fire kit. We have some trioxane to get our fire going. We have some magnesium shavings to get our fire going. We have an extra Ziploc bag 
just to put whatever we need to in it. We have a lighter, we have our ferro rod, and we have a piece of tin foil. This comes in so handy, you just, you always need to have some with you. You can use it as a windscreen, you can use it as a cover for your cup, so on and so forth. So guys, take a look here. This is all the gear that I keep in these bags. And as you can see here, that is a lot. You know, if you had this in your backpack in a number of different pockets, it'd be a complete mess. You'd always be opening up this pocket, searching for this, and it's not there, so on and so forth. You know, with my years and years of experience with backpacking and bushcraft, it is so important to keep track of your gear, to keep it organized. It'll help you remember when you're putting things up where they go and not to leave things behind. So that is a lot of gear right there. Now, it should be mentioned, folks, that on each of these bags, you have this little Made in China tag right here. And it also has the logo vaults on it. Now, when you buy these, if you buy these, whatever, there is a little clip-on hook that is on the end of this. And each one of these bags have that little hook on it. Now, you know, if you want to attach that on the inside of your backpack to something, or maybe even to the outside, which I wouldn't really recommend, you know, you can use those hooks for that purpose. Now, for me, I found that the hooks were the heaviest part to the entire bag. And honestly, I just cut those little hooks off. I wasn't going to use them, and I'd rather save the weight, even if it is only talking about just a number of little ounces. So, you know, you guys could do whatever you wanted to. For me, it wasn't useful, so I cut them off. But, like I said, there was a little hook on every single one of these. Now, when it comes to the weight of these bags, you're talking about not even an ounce each. This big bag right here is only 0.7 ounces. The smallest bag is 0.3 according to my skills. So you're really not talking about much weight. Super lightweight, really. Keeps your gear in place. Can't really beat that. As far as durability goes, I've had these bags since February 2013. So it's been a pretty good period of time now. We're looking at almost 11 months, and they have really held up well. There's a little bit of fraying on some of the ends, such as, maybe you can see, well, there we go. Like there's a little bit of fraying. Right there is another little string. But you know, I think that's just part of the sewing. That does not decrease the integrity of these bags. So really, overall, top-notch quality, very, very strong. And guys, for only $13 on Amazon, which if you do a search for vaults, mesh, storage bags, you will find it on there. 13 bucks. Guys, super lightweight, very strong, keeps your gear organized, and you have those four different sizes, which really are beneficial, well, at least for myself, maybe for you as well. So guys, there you have it. That's how I keep the smaller items in my pack organized. That way I have a fire kit, and everything that's related to fire goes in it. I have a miscellaneous kit, you know, everything that goes in that goes in there, so on and so forth. It does a really good job of keeping my gear organized. So if I open up my bag and I need to get something, I could say, oh, there's the orange bag, I need a camera. Or there's the yellow bag, I need to get my fire kit and whatever. Makes things very, very simple for a guy like myself. So guys, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. I will be putting a, a uh, link in the description box for these items with the Amazon link. Hopefully it'll last forever. If the link ever goes dead and you guys can't find them, let me know. I'll see what I can do for you. But guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if anybody has any questions for me, please let me know. Everyone, take care.